one last recipe. I love, total confession, going to a restaurant and they bring a nice warm crusty loaf of bread and then some delicious bread dipping oil. I mean, oh, that can really turn into dinner and would go great um, crusty bread and dipping oil with that uh, Tuscan bean and sausage dish I made at the beginning of this show and recipe for that's on the website. But making homemade bread dipping oil at home is crazy easy and you can really make it yours. It's, this recipe is more of a guide, but it, it, it's, it's just so much more flavorful than just dipping um, bread in regular oil. Not that that's not good too, but it's just, um, it's just fun to do and, and very, very easy. So, so the first thing you gotta do is you're gonna start with some really good olive oil. And we love our, this is just their, um, their standard staple Tunisian olive oil from Green Bay Olive Oil Company. You can whisk this together in a bowl. If you have the time and patience, you can um, whirl this together in a food processor or blender too, and that'll really get the spices in there, but it works either way. So I'm gonna take some olive oil. I like a pinch of red pepper flakes in there. I definitely always do a little bit of salt and pepper. Um, that's for sure. Now, here's where the options are kind of, you know, whatever you're in the mood for, whatever you have. I'm using a pinch of dried herbs. I've got dried rosemary, and these are all dried herbs from Bulk Price Food. Dried oregano, and you don't want to go overboard. A little bit of thyme. Thyme is one of those things that can be very, um, very strong. Actually, I'm going to use, I've got fresh thyme. If you have fresh herbs, man, be using those in there, but uh, or a combination. Um, and in the summer, I you know grow a lot of herbs, and you know it's the fresher the herbs, the better it's going to be. But it's just fine with dried herbs too. Garlic. If you're going to do it in the food processor, give your garlic a little bit of a rough chop, and then throw it in there. And you don't want to go overboard on the garlic. Sometimes uh, a little lemon juice is really nice in here for a little bit of acid. If you've got it. We're gonna give this a whirl. If it has time to kind of hang out in that oil, even better, you know, so the flavors really come together. And then you can also freshen it up if you want a little more green. You can actually add some fresh chopped parsley at the end rather than putting it in your food processor because that would turn it into more of like a pesto consistency. And if it does get a little thick, Thin it out with a little more olive oil. This smells so good. I just popped, oh yummy. I just popped, um, look at the color and the flavor and mm, mm. Anyway, I just popped a nice crusty loaf of French bread in the oven. Chop this up. I love the getting a great baguette. If you're doing pasta or soup or stew, instead of using butter, this bread dipping oil is just really fun to whip up and make it yours. You know, put the herbs and spices in there you, you like. And then cheese. Uh, do you want to do cheese? Uh, I always like a little Parmesan cheese. You can do it in the oil or you can do it on the side. A balsamic is another thing that uh, we love, the thick, syrupy, wonderful balsamic from Green Bay Olive Oil Company. Sometimes I'll do a little bit of a ramekin of balsamic too, so you've got the oil and the vinegar to cut it. Um, but yeah, it's a fun idea to make at home. Uh, you pay big bucks for some of these, you know, fancy bread dipping oils out at the store. Give it a try at home. Really easy to do, and man, is it good.